Hello, my name is John Troxler from Textron Aviation, Hawker Technical Support. This video will discuss the use of the main ship battery connector Go No Go gauge used on the Hawker 125 series battery connectors. The Hawker 125 series aircraft, as well as many other model aircraft, use a Go No Go style gauge for checking the retention effectiveness of the main ship's battery connector contacts. This tool is used for checking the wear on the contact sockets of the battery connector internal diameter of the contact sockets. This check is to be accomplished whenever the aircraft batteries are removed and or replaced per the Aircraft Maintenance Manual Reference 2430-151-401. Worn or damaged contacts can cause increased contact resistance between the power connector and the battery. A high contact resistance will cause voltage loss and possible failure of the connector. If the contact sockets on any battery high power connector do not pass this go no go gauge check, the connector should be replaced. There are two different aircraft battery connectors used by the Hawker 125 series aircraft and each connector has its own method of using the gauge for checking its contact retention. The Rebling Plastics connector is found in most later model Hawkers today. It is black with a gray handle and its tool is listed as part number gauge 29. The Elcon brand connector is light blue in color and checked with the Elcon gauge 029. We list this tool by part number 029 gauge. Either tool will accomplish the checks required for each connector. I will be using the Elcon brand tool today. To check the black Reblings connector, insert only the .370 end of the tool into each socket. As a note, do not use the .385 end of the tool on the Rebling Plastics connector. The connector socket should exert enough pressure on the tool to retain it when the connector is inverted to a position where the Go No Go tool is pointing downward. If the tool drops out, the connector should be replaced. The procedures for checking the Elcon connector is different in that you should follow the instructions on the label of the tool as it was provided by the Elcon company. For this video, I am using an Elcon connector that has seen a considerably hard life and would normally be considered unserviceable. It is only being used here for a demonstration of the Elcon connector test. Insert the .385 end into each socket. The force to remove must exceed one pound. Then insert the .370 end of the tool into each socket. The force to remove must still exceed one pound. This concludes my video on the testing of the main aircraft battery connectors on the Hawker 125 series. For additional information, please contact Hawker Technical Support at 1-800-429-5372 or 1-316-517-9330. You can also contact us at the group email at hawker underscore 125 underscore support at txtav.com.